Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I just filmed my Christmas video and I was doing some cleaning and I found this hot sauce, which I got a long time ago. I got this at least, I want to say almost a year ago. Hopefully it's still good. It's still sealed up. Um, this is called Snake Oil from Woodbury Kitchen in Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, what makes this pretty interesting, this hot sauce, and I remember the person who sent it sent me a whole like packet of paperwork on the fish pepper. And that is one of the main ingredients in this. The fish pepper, which was new to me, has a really interesting story. You can just Google it, look on Wikipedia or whatever. Um, but immensely popular in uh, Baltimore. This pepper was used, I, I want to say early 19th century. Uh, it was brought to America, used heavily in different fish dishes. And that's why they call it the fish pepper. Just a pretty random, interesting story. If you're into pepper scene and you want to know more about hot sauce and stuff like that, it's worth looking up. But anyway, here it is, very classy little bottle. Looks like the Pennsylvania Keystone, right? Same thing on the back. And this one has zero sugar, which I can have because I'm staying away from sugar right now. But the ingredients are very simple. Fresh fish peppers, cider vinegar, sea salt. So this is one of those straight up hot sauces where it's all about the pepper. There's not a bunch of garlic and you know different types of herbs and spices and sweeteners and all that kind of stuff. No, this is just straight up vinegar and peppers. Now, from memory, I think that the fish pepper could be as low as 5,000 Scoville all the way up to 30,000. Just depends on how ripe they are, but uh, generally 20 to 30,000 when fully ripe and red. So, give this a good shake since it's been sitting around for a while. All right, get my hot sauce knife, as you guys know. Spartaco Cricket, the OG hot sauce knife. And we're gonna get into this. I have a feeling it's gonna be hot. I haven't had hot sauce in a while. So, all right, so we have our plastic off. And I don't think I've ever had a fish pepper. So this is going to be a great example of what fish pepper has to offer. Hmm. It smells good. It smells like... smells very similar to like a Frank's Red Hot. Very much. Because it's just peppers and vinegar, it's going to be a very tangy, Louisiana-style hot sauce. Very vinegar straight. Or vinegar forward, I should say. But it, it smells a little different than all... You know, the usual suspects like Frank's, like Louisiana, Crystal, all those all those hot sauces are essentially cayenne peppers and vinegar, whereas this is the fish peppers and vinegar. Hmm, interesting. Got my spoon. This has a little dripper on top, but it is liquidy enough. It's going through. So yeah, I mean it's a pretty blended sauce. Might be hard to tell without spilling it. But yeah, pretty smooth consistency. I do see kind of chunky pepper remnants. Maybe see that. But anyway, bottoms up. Mmm. The flavor is really good. Ooh, that packs a punch. Wow. All right, well, the pepper is, the pepper's actually really savory. It smells fruitier than it is. It doesn't really taste fruity. God, I'm drooling already. Um, I would say it's probably as hot. It's a little, it's hotter than a cayenne, for sure. If you've ever had a fresh cayenne pepper, it's hotter than that, but it's still very tolerable. It's like below fresh habanero zone. You know, if you could do a fresh habanero, you could do a lot of different hot sauces. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the flavor is pretty good. It's It kind of tastes like a Louisiana-style hot sauce, but hotter. Much hotter. So if you like Frank's, you like Crystal, you like all these different, you know, brands. Um, Tabasco sauce. If you like Tabasco sauce, we think like, ah, oh, there's not a lot of flavor there. Which a lot of hot sauce connoisseurs, they crap on things like Tabasco. Just like if you're into craft beer, you're like, ah, oh, Budweiser, ew. People do that with hot sauce. They go, oh, Tabasco, ew. Whereas most people just use Tabasco. They don't know anything else. But it has more flavor, almost like a Cholula hot sauce. 
uh, and it is hotter. So if you do like those regular name brand table sauces you can get from all the grocery stores, you'll probably like this if you want a little bit more heat and a little bit more flavor there. Because it, it's the, the vinegar is there, but it's toned down compared to those other sauces. So yeah, it's pretty good stuff, but it does, it packs a punch. Um, I think if you're not super into hot stuff, if you don't have it all the time, maybe it'll be a little bit too much for you. But um, yeah, I mean, for the, the heat head or the chili head, you'll love this stuff. I mean, you'll put this on everything. I could put this on pretty much anything. Uh, tomorrow, I'm having some scrambled eggs for bre breakfast. Excuse me, some scrambled eggs and a little bit of bacon. So I will douse this on my eggs. Pretty good, pretty tasty. So thank you very much to the person who sent this, even though it was like ages ago. Haven't forgotten about you, haven't forgotten the sauce. Again, this is snake oil um, from Woodbury Kitchen, Baltimore, Maryland. Let's see, uh, the FDA has not evaluated these claims. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I don't really trust what the FDA says anyway. But yeah, pretty straightforward. Fresh peppers, vinegar, sea salt, good stuff. By the way, I'm looking at the expiration. It's good till 6.20. All right, I won't get sick. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a new hot sauce that you've tried lately and absolutely love, let me know down in the comments. Love to hear about it. Um, and just let me know, do you want to see a lot more hot sauce reviews? I still have a ton of sauce. I eat hot sauce all the time. It's just, you know, when I was posting those videos, not a lot of people were watching them, so I just kind of stopped over the years. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want them, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.